All right, today I want to talk to you about, I guess what I would call a case study, where I'm going to start a blog, a brand new blog with a fresh domain, and I'm just going to take you step by step what my strategy is for building this blog, monetizing this blog, and hopefully uh, my goal is to see if ultimately within uh, six months to a year, I can get it earning, you know, $250 a month. You know, that's not life changing money, but I think anybody would be happy with an extra $250 a month from their blog if it was purely passive income. So let's go ahead and get started. So it's a little bit of a long title here. Che cheaply and quickly create a monetized blog using hybrid AI content. Uh, didn't know how to really shorten this up at all, but this is the intent of what I'm going to show you today. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing uh, the blog niche that I have chosen. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about how I'm going to get some content, where I'm going to host this blog, uh, the content management system I'll use for editing the uh, AI content that I create, the AI writing software that I plan to use, the SEO optimization tools that I'm going to use, uh, what my initial primary means of monetization will be, and ultimately what those site goals are. So let's just talk about the blog niche. So it's a niche that I have uh, some experience in, but you know, I'm mainly a hobbyist. I'm definitely not an expert in the field. Um, it is somewhat outdoor related. So unfortunately it is maybe a little seasonal. Uh, I don't think the seasonality is going to hurt it that much, but you know, if you're spinning up a new blog, you always have to think about that from a monetization standpoint, right? You don't want to have something that's so seasonal that for half the year, it's barely earning any money. And the key thing for me is, can I easily find 200 blog posts that can be written about this topic? So typically I'll start off with informational style blog posts and then also do product roundup type blog posts. Now, the interesting thing is, I won't go too far afield, but Google is changing. The way that people will search on Google is going to change. So it's going to be interesting to see how relevant informational only blog posts become in the future. Uh, that is something I'll talk about in another video uh, once we start to see where Google's new uh, search uh, components go. So from the standpoint of content, so this is going to be primarily AI content, but of course, like I always mention, you want to fact check that content and you also want to add any personal experience that you have, any anecdotes that you have. While you could just use purely AI content and not add anything to it except fact check it, I think you run the risk that uh, your content and your posts will sound and look so much like everybody else's posts for that same topic that you're not gonna stand out. It's going to be harder to get people more interested in reading what you're writing about. So like I mentioned, it'll be a combination of inf informational blog posts coupled with product reviews and roundups. So you've got a nice mix of trying to help somebody out with the hobby yet giving yourself some opportunity to monetize and earn some money in the process. Uh, from the standpoint of keyword research tools, I do use a tool called WriterZen. Um, it was at one point an AppSumo lifetime deal quite a while ago. Um, I use it and it does help with keyword research, but I've also done some other videos on how I do keyword research which is pretty much the old fashioned style using the Google autocomplete method. So you may want to check out one of my other videos on that if you need help with um, getting ideas for searching for keywords. And of course, using that method is free, which is nice if you're really on a budget. So hosting, I'm going to go in a direction that's pretty unconventional. I'm going to be using to start off with free hosting on Netlify. So 
if you're not familiar with Net Netlify, it's basically um, a platform where a lot of software developers will use Netlify and build uh, apps on top of their platform. But you can also host your own custom domain name there. And you can also host a website there. And you can do it for free. And they're very generous with the amount of traffic that you can have on that site. So at some point, if your site gets super popular, you may end up using more bandwidth than you get with a free account. Um, that would be an awesome problem to have. Uh, right now, Netlify charges $19.95 a month if you go to a paid plan. Uh, if you look at that price compared to you know, other shared hosting plans um, that are more conventional, maybe like a bluehost.com, for example. Um, you know, they're pretty comparable after a year. Bluehost, I think, goes up to about $16.95 a month for a WordPress uh, hosting. So um, for now, I'm going to use Netlify. It's super fast. You know, they have a free CDN. So they've got a great content delivery network, so your pages are really fast. Um, it has HTTPS support, which is great. You want to use that prefix for your domain names. Google prefers that. Uh, and it just uh, makes it easier to rank your pages. So essentially, you're going to be able to, to start up your blog for the cost of a custom domain name. So let's talk about content management systems. Um, I I'm not going to be using WordPress on this. Uh, I'm going to be using a tool called Publi. Uh, I do have a video on Publi and Netlify and how to use them together. I strongly suggest you take a look at that. It'll give you a better idea of why I've chosen to use these two tools together. Uh, so the, the Pub Publi is a lot like WordPress. It's an open source executable that you would load on your machine. And so it creates static HTML pages rather than, uh, word, rather than working like WordPress, which uses a dynamic database-driven backend. Uh, the big deal with static HTML, it's super fast. So your page speed insight scores uh, should be, you know, anywhere in the 99 to 100% for mobile and desktop. Google really likes having super fast loading sites, and so many people use mobile phones and other mobile devices like uh, iPads and so on to look at the web. You know, anytime you can create a really fast loading website, that's a big advantage for you. And the nice thing about Publi is you don't need a bunch of plugins to run it. It has uh, plenty of SEO optim optimization tools with, within it. So you can, you know, change the post slug. You can add your own meta descriptions. You can add keywords. You can do almost anything that you can do in WordPress to make sure a page uh, meets all the SEO standards that you'd want. Uh, but you don't have to maintain and manage plugins. You don't have to worry about security because basically all of your pages are going to be built on your own machine, then they're FTP'd up to Netlify. There isn't a login screen that somebody can hack. Now, could somebody hack your Netlify account? You know, that's possible, but the chances of it are much smaller compared to uh, the kind of um, issues that could occur with WordPress. So from the standpoint of AI writing software, I plan to use Koala Writer. Um, it's my favorite AI writing tool. Um, I'll probably write the bulk of the content in GPT 3.5, although Koala Writer does have the capability of also writing in GPT 4. And I plan to use the bulk article feature in Koala Writer. So uh, I'm just going to let it write all the articles automatically for me so I can put in a whole bunch of article titles and it'll just run off and, and create those articles. I don't have to sit there and babysit the tool while it does it. I go back in later to Koala Writer and all my articles are there ready to be SEO optimized. If you're not familiar with Koala Writer, 
just show it to you real quickly here. Um, this is a tool that came out maybe three months ago now. Uh, as you can see, you've got, you can write in GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Uh, it writes long form AI content, blog, basically blog posts. That's what it's meant to write. It has other writing capability as well. I do, I do use the Amazon product roundup type of article quite frequently. Uh, and they just recently released another new feature, which is the YouTube video to blog post. Uh, I have a link to Koala Writer uh, in the video description. So if you uh, want to check out Koala Writer, check out the pricing, uh, you can get in, I believe. Let me just go back quickly. Yeah, pricing on Koala Writer starts at $9 a month. So if you haven't tried Koala Writer out yet, I'd suggest doing that. There's a link in the description. So that's it for AI writing software. Now let's talk about SEO optimization software. Uh, I'm gonna optimize all my articles in Neuron Writer. And I probably will utilize some of the advanced AI writing capabilities available in Neuron Writer. Um, if you're not familiar with Neuron Writer, I'll just show that to you quickly. So it's just a tool that's used to optimize your website content. So it says, so Google adores it. Well, here's the deal. It works really well. It has a lot of um, great SEO optimization capabilities. I use it on every article that I write. Um, I have a variety of videos on Neuron Writer that you can go take a look at to get more familiar with the tool. I don't want to get too deep into it just because there's a lot of different features in it and I don't want to turn this into a Neuron Writer tutorial. But this is the tool I plan to optimize the articles for this new blog with. Um, now the nice thing about Neuron Writer, it's available at AppSumo. You can get it on a lifetime deal starting at $69. Um, so if you go through, it'll tell you a lot about what the tool does and how it works. Or you can go look at some of my other videos. And basically you just buy in at various code levels. So with each successive level, you get more AI writing credits, you get more AI content analysis queries per month. Um, I, I'm bought in, I was bought in at the $207 level when I first got the tool about a year ago, I just recently added an additional code. So um, that's how much I like the tool. I just use it with every blog post that I write. And there will be a link to Neuron Writer in the video description. Uh, again, full transparency, uh, I'm an AppSumo affiliate. So if you do buy Neuron Writer, I may get a small commission. Uh, I just wanna mention that it is a tool that I've had for almost a year now and I've been using it and ranking uh, pages on Google with it pretty successfully. So that's it for the SEO optimization software I'll use. So primary means of monetization. Let's talk about that. You know, if you are starting up your first blog uh, or you've been blogging for a while, you'll, you know that you know the Amazon affiliate program is about the easiest way to start uh, start monetizing a blog. And that's the way I'll start monetizing this one. Now, I may consider other affiliate programs as my traffic ramps up. Um, typically other, you know, other alternative affiliate programs may require a certain amount of traffic before they'll accept you. So that's why I'll start with Amazon. Uh, again, you know, another route to go uh, for example, Ezoic is one uh, ad platform that will take websites at just about any level of traffic. Uh, I typically would not consider starting banner ads or anything until I was at least, I had at least 10,000 unique visits per month, maybe even more. Um, you know, ideally, you might even wait till you're at 50,000 unique visits a month so you could then uh, apply to something like Mediavine. But for now, the initial way that I'm gonna monetize is through Amazon and then additional affiliate programs for the niche that I'm in. 
So why did I decide to share this project? Uh, I decided to share it just because I wanted to show you how I would do this as a solo entrepreneur. This is something that I do on, on the side. I have a day job just like many of you have. So it's the easiest way for me to ramp up a blog, do it cheaply, um, and to earn a little extra side money. And so really what my goal is, you know, let's I want to learn together. So I'm going to share how things are going with the blog. I'm going to show you how I decided to um, look for keywords and what kind of blog posts I'm going to write and just sort of take you through all the things that you would go through to create a blog. And as this blog develops, I will do more videos and share that with you. We'll talk about, you know, how long are you in the Google sandbox before you start getting page rankings? How much traffic do you have to have before you even make your first dollar? You know, what does it take to make $100 a month? How long is that going to take? And then can I reach a goal of writing 200 articles? So if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to leave those. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you found this useful, take care.